What's up YouTube, David Taylor here with Rover13. Today I want to show you all how to turn your Android phone into a Wi-Fi hotspot. Alright, so this is actually a really, really simple thing to do. You just have to download an app called PDA Net Plus. Now this is free on the App Store, it's the Google Play Store, I mean. Uh, but you do have to download a key to actually get the full version unlocked. Just search on Google for PDA Net Key and I'm sure you'll find one uh, to download that. Once you get it downloaded and installed, it does work on almost all Android devices. Uh, just make sure your device works. You can check, you can check it out on their website uh, just to make sure your device is compatible. And then you open up the app right here. Make sure you are connected to your data. I have 4G LTE right up there. This is the Droid DNA on Verizon Wireless. You'll get these settings right here. Activate USB Tether, uh, Bluetooth server, or Wi-Fi hotspot. You can do a USB Tether just by plugging in a cable right into your computer a USB slot and turning that on. You have to download another app on your computer called PDA Net. I use that sometimes uh, when the Wi-Fi is not going to be the greatest if I just like to uh, plug it directly into my computer that way. You can also do a Bluetooth server. I haven't actually tried that on the DNA yet uh, so I, I can't say that that works yet or how well it works so I'm not even going to talk about that but the Wi-Fi hotspots right there all you have to do I set a password right down there it's David Green it's just something I came up with uh, you can also name the uh, network the SSID it's just Fox 547 is what it comes pre-installed with and all you have to do is tap the little check mark right there uh, and then after you do that it might come up with a installation package thing all you have to do is give it a name I just name it whatever I want uh, and then hit OK and then make sure you say that you do trust this program and then it'll actually start up the Wi-Fi hotspot so I'm going to start this up right here it'll say verifying uh, internet connection and then it'll start processing and it'll turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot I've been using this uh, since I've been out here in Irvine for the past how many like four weeks I think it's been and I've used probably over a hundred gigs worth of data just from streaming stuff and downloading stuff that way because uh, the Wi-Fi at this hotel is not the greatest and Verizon has not noticed. I've been using this for probably a year now also back in my apartment uh, streaming stuff that way and my carrier has not noticed. They haven't said anything about it. I do have unlimited data. That's why I've been using it. Uh, if you don't have unlimited data, be very, very careful because you will probably go over your limit. Just a warning. So if you, as you guys can see up here, uh, my Wi-Fi hotspot has been started. I have zero connected users, but now I'm going to connect my phone, my iPhone, and show you guys what it looks like. So as you you can see right there I have Fox 547 on my iPhone 5 right there I'm just gonna click on that I have already connected to this before and that's why the passwords already typed in but normally it'll pop up and you just have to type in your passcode as you can see over on the droid DNA it says one connected user right there hopefully you can see that and once this connects I will show you guys the speed I'll go to speed test and click on start and show you guys that I am getting uh, pretty decent 4g speeds downloading on my iPhone 5 and I will be using this I've been using this for the past four weeks like I've said before and I haven't really had any issues sometimes the app crashes but that's just normal uh, you know stuff that's gonna happen with the apps I'm getting about six down right now that's not the greatest the best I've ever gotten was 30 down uh, this is out in Irvine as well and this is on Verizon Wireless but just to show you guys that this does work on the Droid DNA and this will work on all of your other Android phones as well but again, I just wanted to make sure that you all understand that this will use your data a lot. Like I've, I've used it maybe just to stream a few things and it will, it, it brings up the data quite a bit. I've used almost 100 gigs probably in the past like two months or so. So just be very, very careful. Hopefully you guys have unlimited data. If you don't, just be, be careful. Uh, Verizon probably, I have not had any issues with Verizon. They haven't emailed me. Nothing has shown up on my account yet. So uh, this is this is something that really should be free for everybody who has data connections anyway. Uh, and this is what I really don't like about U.S. carriers, uh, having you pay for extra Wi-Fi or uh, extra uh, hotspot supports. And I just, I hope that this eventually becomes the normal thing where you can just do it for free if you already have a data plan. Test it out. Go check it out on the Google Play Store. It's PDA Net Plus. And make sure you guys find that key to give you guys the full unlocked version right down there. Full version unlocked. Uh, you will only be able to get the trial version right away, so you do have to find that key before you can get the full version unlocked. So I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.